I'm vengeance. Hello, people of YouTube. Welcome to the Bat Jacks podcast. I don't even know what I'm going to call this, but we're here with Michael Myers and Jacob and Sucka. Yep. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Is that when we talk? Yes. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm Jacob Watson. So today I, uh... we're going to be doing a spoiler review of the highly anticipated. We've waited since 2018 for this Halloween Kills directed by David Gordon Green. Dude, I freaking love this movie. If you saw my vlog, if you saw my review, you know I loved it. What did you guys think of the movie? General thoughts. I think we all liked it. I think we get that out of the way first. Yeah. No one here doesn't like it. Um, Saga? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 definitely. I, I, as someone who got into the franchise a lot later than you guys, well, say specifically when, it. please. Say the other week. Win. Uh, like two days ago. <laughs> he's like, he's like, what what time is it? <laughs> didn't you watch Halloween 2018 like right before you saw the name? Uh What I did was Wednesday night, I think I watched 1978. And then uh, 2018, I started a few hours before the, the before I went to go watch Kills. But I f- some stuff happened in between. And then I think I finished it 10 minutes before I got to the theater. <laughs> so it was like one movie for you, basically. <laughs> oh, yeah, definitely. That's it. That's it. That's how yeah, it's made. So. Like I, wish, I, wish that ends, later, but... I wish ends, Halloween ends would be on the same <laughs> night, but I think they're going to time travel a little bit into the future. <laughs> they're going to no, do time, a little bit of yeah, time, time traveling. Jump. Time <laughs> jump. It's going to get a little bit uh, in gamey, if you know what I mean. All right. So uh, let's. It, it just won't be as messy. Yep. Oh, my God. Okay. Let's... Uh, well, first of all, let's run through. Let's run through our history with the franchise. Yeah. Sucker already kind of did his. He just started. Yep. I. Uh, I I mean, I'll out myself right now. I watched Halloween maybe once or twice growing up. Yep. I didn't think it was that scary, so I didn't li- I didn't like it. It wasn't one of my favorite horror movies, like at all. I was like, I've seen it; it's iconic, but yeah. I don't think it's that scary. But then I got older and I got smarter, and I was like, well, sometimes it's not always <laughs> supposed to be scary. That's how I was with The Shining too. I was like, this shit is good. Um. Maturing but, is realizing Halloween. Yeah, <laughs> maturing is realizing that the first Halloween is that good TikTok. as frick. Anyway, but, so I watched it in. I got the 35th anniversary Blu-ray. You just got it just it to have 20, it in your collection. Yeah, my there's my horror collection right there. That's the other non-horror, and yep. I got the 35th anniversary. Watched it. I think 2018. Yeah, that's 35. Wait, is that there? No, no, no. 35 was. That would be 40 is 2018. Yeah, that'd be 40. 40. So I got the 35th anniversary a couple years after it came out, I guess. Yeah. Watched it in like 2018 or 19. I was like, damn, that shit bussin. And then I watched two, three, and then I watched 2018. Anyways, basically I fell in love with the franchise like a couple years ago. Jax is, you can go on here. So I remember so vividly. I was, I think I was eight years old, 2008. You know, I'm watching Dark Knight that year. That's basically my life. And on AMC, they had the, I don't even know what it's called, Fright Fest or whatever. Oh, I know. I know they always know play all the Halloween movies. Hell, and dude. It is Halloween night. My whole family's asleep. I have my my candy. I'm dressed up like ghost, a Ghostbuster. They're going to say ghost face. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah. I would, Did not, it have I would not know what that was <laughs> by then. But then. Halloween you're like plays. the kids for Stranger Things. Basically. Halloween plays, and I am scared out of my mind. And then I proceed to watch it every Halloween, but only I think 2018, getting ready for the new one was when I watched all the sequels. But that first movie is everything to me. So, and then 2018 came out, and that's that movie like re redefined my love for the series. And now this movie. This movie is the embodiment of everything we love about Halloween. Oh, all right, so all right. good. Jess, so could you have anything uh, else to say before uh, we yeah, just get? I I find it hilarious how the the difference between our definitions of maturing yeah. is. So that gives us good uh, different views on the new movie. So like like how Jacob said that he initially thought uh, the some of these movies were not scary and not yeah. good and then that they were not matured. good because they were not that scary yeah yeah and then you matured into actually yeah. sort of understanding why they're it was good like wait and then the definition for 
uh, maturing for me is instead of watching the same nine movies over and over, I'm watching some new ones. <laughs> yeah. Watching new movies. Yes. You finally, finally. stop watching Aquaman and watch something new. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jacob's actually the one with the Aquaman poster behind him, so. Yeah. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Dude, Aquaman, we all love Aquaman here. What's up? All right, let's, you want to start right. into the beginning of the movie? Yes. So the movie Open opens scene. up. Cameron is walking <laughs> home after the dance, cheating on Allison, and who does he see? Hawkins, sorry, Chief. Yep. Was that a <laughs> I was I was response? asking you. Yes, was that a so. recall oh, response? He sees yeah. Chief Hawkins. Yeah, yeah. No, so this. I was so right happy. Opens, I was so happy he I was, lived. Dude, I was so happy. Well, yeah, I knew he lived. I he was in the trailer, and yeah, I'll just say real quick as ugh, I hate saying as an actor myself, but as an actor, my my <laughs> dream and goal is to be. In a trilogy of movies, yeah, at least two, preferably all three, and so like, I was just really hoping for this character, so like, to Cameron, live vicariously through the character of yeah, Cameron yeah. to be in to be in more than just the first one of this trilogy, and then it opens up with him walking down the street in his Bonnie costume. I was like, let's go, <laughs> and Yo. then it, and then I see the fence, and I'm like, no, is he the one that? Fi-? Yeah. <laughs> And he's dude, wearing a skirt the whole movie. I kind of like that. Dude, I thought I thought reversal. he changed when yeah. he, when he came into nope. the room. When he came into me, Allison, I thought he had changed. He just put on a sweatshirt. Nope. He still had his skirt thing on. And just it's so cool funny. because in the last movie, she was in a suit and tie the whole movie. So it mm-hmm. was a cool change of Gender pace. Gender swappage. The, yep, they were Bonnie that's and fine, Clyde. But uh, yeah. So he. Where are we going to next? Him. And then it flashes back, dun, 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 and you're just immediately back in 78, dude. Oh my god, dude. I freaked out seeing that classic mask. How, why is it so hard to get the classic 78 mask right? It was so perfect in this, and all the sequels were Oh, yeah. Why can't they just make it look good? I don't but, know what they were. Dude, I, seeing I, that, I need a, I need a beat documentary on all the, I need a documentary all on why masks. all the masks look the way that they look like. I need it. I need explanations mm-hmm. for all of them. It's so funny. But yeah, who is the actor playing Hawkins? Because I've seen him in a lot of um, stuff. That was but... Tom, that was Thomas Mann, and he was in like Kong Skull Island and yes. stuff. Yes. Oh he, yeah, he yeah, yeah, yeah. That's where that's where I, I love him. him. From. I saw him on the cast list, Hawkins. and I forgot who he pl- like. I saw him on the cast list, but I, I when I was watching the movie, I forgot who he played. Yeah. And then he comes running around the thing, and I'm just like. Dude, oh, dude, he, oh, I love that guy. I love that guy. He sees the shape and he starts shooting at him, misses, and okay, Michael his Myers aim just disappears. Buns in that throwback. Bro, by the everyone way. in the movie, but everyone, dude, everyone has Stormtrooper aim. Bam, bam, everyone bam. has dude, Stormtrooper. Dude, but the resemblance, the resemblance between him and the older version, like it's There's it's uncanny. Solid. It's pretty. They good. actually look a lot like each other. Yeah, like their eyebrows cast, and everything. Yeah. Everything was similar. But yeah, the cops uh, all pull up to where Hawkins is and they set out a perimeter and then we cut to young Lonnie. That was, I, I, I was hoping it wouldn't, at first I was hoping the flashback wouldn't go on that long. Cause I was like, it's just taking up fun time for the future story. It was a good 16 minutes. I feel like once, once the flashback ended, I was glad that every second of it happened because it, it confirmed what happened. Cause you know, the, the original, the only, the other two timelines use Halloween two as yeah. what happens after he falls off the roof, but this one needed to fill that in, and I'm glad they, they did that. And I'm also they reference they it used, in 2018 a lot. Like he stopped, what? he stopped yeah, 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 Loomis yeah. He from was the first killing officer. So I was uh, like, I, dude, just the the writing there was so good. Having him accidentally shoot his partner oh, and then have it be covered up. The mo- the the motivation went from a cop just doing his job to straight up personal as hell and that like, I, okay there's so many characters in this movie that really they show why they hate michael myers so much like his his presence has given so much grief to this town over the years and that really fueled the mob i feel the camera pen for when they stop michael outside the house Dude, and the music's just and ah, it's the going out it's kind of like a callback to like six-year-old yeah. michael yeah it and definitely then, was for sure and yeah. loomis yeah. comes out dude tell me that loomis actor was not perfect yeah yeah 
I he think they got weird. a different voice actor that sounded like him, but dude, that guy looks <laughs> just like him. I don't think they used any deep fake or anything. He just looked. Apparently, like him. it's just a guy who worked no, on. No, it's just a guy. No, it's just a guy who looks like him. Had him grow out and dye his beard, no and then he just has his voice. But what 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 scene okay. happened after the intro? I'm pretty sure it was the bar scene, yep. which and we get introduced to the nurse and doctor from the last movie that had. Oh yeah, in the super one cool, super cool bring back. Yeah, uh, that was her... that was cool. Super cool, like if good, you're, good for if those you're actors. Ben- and... If you're binging them back to back, you'll pick up on that. And he forgot yeah, his super yeah steth- yeah yeah stethoscope, <laughs> which actually <laughs> ends up being his demise. <laughs> yeah no LOL. he literally said he's like oh i need to go back to grab that and i'm like oh my god stupid or movie character move right there that scene oh it was kind of weird it was kind of weird was they curious. were all in one place at one time i was curious well it's halloween so they're like they, they like the the bartender gave a line of dialogue they're like they, they come they, they're like they come they come in here and fill their beers with tears or something like that yeah. he said a line like that it's like a ritual for them and when he when Anthony Michael Hall started giving his monologue about the night, I I just started crying. I straight up started crying. It was, it was so like, well written and so yeah. Like, oh my god, if she. You, uh, if you've been a fan of the series, like that's just how the feeling you get. Oh yeah, watching these movies is how much dread and fear Michael Myers brings each movie. It really he, surprised me that Anthony Marian, Michael Hall. The dude, yeah. I could I could not say enough. He's no, the MVP. I was gonna say, dude, easy. Marion, the Marion actress and the Lindsay actress are the same one, so they kind of yep. have an edge that they were there. Anthony Michael Hall has never been in a Halloween movie, but he just but shows I, up in this movie. He just felt it. Mm. I could, dude. His acting was so good in this. I cried during his monologue. I felt it. And later yeah. in the movie, when he said, "He said, you in 1978, you saved me. This time, I'm gonna save you." Oh. I literally, I, I like. It's it one of so those, good. dude. I my lip quivered like. I, <laughs> dude, thing, oh my god! The thing, the thing about that is, I like fully you dug believed and him. believed that he. Yeah, I fully believed that, that he was, was traumatized Tommy Doyle. by that. Event. That was Tommy. Yeah, Doyle I fully believed it. Every every second of it, every yep. second of his performance, I believe that this guy at he was traumatized as a kid, bro, and he I wants revenge. And I believe dude. every every. Yeah. Let me say this. That transition where he says, Lori, wherever you are, thank you. And then it just Dude. smash cuts. Yes, sir. Dude, yes, they're sir. in the back of the truck. Yeah. She's like, ah. I was sitting there. I was sitting there watching it. And I, I was like, I was like, boom. Like, I was like, that was solid. That was a solid transition. Dude, that was so. She's screaming, let him burn. And then it smash cuts to the firefighters going into the house. Oh man, dude, how awesome Rip is this scene? All my boys, dude. Rip especially all my boys. the dude who fell. He fell in, the room. puts on his blinker. Michael comes out of the gun <laughs> holster. Shink, that was the... so smart, dude. I was like, how are they gonna do it? And then he did that. I was like, oh. It's like one of those things, like in the last movie. You know that's there, but it doesn't click you with you. Yeah. yeah. Like, oh, he, that's how he survived. That like, makes like and it makes complete sense. It's not that contrived of a way for him yeah. to survive. And like, what the frick was that weapon he had? Was it a firefighter weapon or was it like yeah, a yeah. fire? It's just a firefighter yeah. weapon to like break through shit. Dude, he took that thing, smashed that yeah, right yeah. through his helmet. Dude, that dude, and I also want to give props to all the practical blood effects in this movie. Like Ooh, there were yeah. blood squibs. Oh my god. The blood squibs. I it was so good. There was I was uncomfortable from blood. the first blood of the movie on Hawkins on Hawkins' neck when he was just he took off out. his scarf and then he put it yeah. on his neck and it was a and it was like oh that the sound design mixed with the practical blood was yeah nasty yeah. dude I feel Real so nasty. bad for every single like you actually, <laughs> even like the minor characters the the, the firefighters I don't bad. know who was doing the ADR in those firefighters oh, but yeah it was good dude. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> like <laughs> dreadful screams. But how dumb was it that the guy was shooting him with water? He's like, you want to cool yeah, off? Yeah, he looked confused. He's, he's like, yeah, he. You knew that guy was like a rookie. Like he was just first day on the job. Yeah. He's like, should I help this guy? He looks kind of is that his f- real face? And then Michael's like, I, he <laughs> shoves the thing right in his face. <laughs> I love how Michael goes straight for the guy with the water. He's like, the, the least. Me? The least dangerous out of them all. Bro, and 
Michael was just so aggressive in this scene. Like, he just threw the thing down, and then he grabs the buzzsaw, just puts it into the guy's face. Dude, he was on another level in this movie. Dude, yeah. This man, I don't know what, I think he was just pissed off that Lori trapped him and burned him, but. <laughs> oh, he was definitely think, pissed yeah, off. He, what was is... just, he just got outsmarted. But then we cut to a little drone flying, and you're like, okay, where's this going? <laughs> and David Gordon Bro. Green, he's the king of character introductions that make you feel for just these characters that are about to die. I felt for every person that died in this movie. They, he just creates so much sympathy for them. Like, it's just this little really vast. old couple just yeah. chilling, playing with their little drone. And my, you see bl- two little blood. <laughs> I think... It was cool. It was like two fingerprints because he only had three fingers. You just saw yeah. that on every doorpost. Like when you saw that, that was like the mark of death. They did that. A, they did that a couple times throughout the movie. I started to be like, Michael, why, why are you grabbing so why many you, door frames? Do you need to cover <laughs> this up. <laughs> like why are you touching everything? He's like, Ugh. stop. <laughs> but yeah, she's playing with the drone, and then the drone flies into this corner, and you're like um yeah some well, dark corner there. yeah and then the drone flies out and you're like oh <laughs> shoot they both had death set <clears throat> that might have been the worst gruesome. death no cameron's death was worse but these oh, this definitely. was pretty bad because the yeah he gets pulled through glass and his neck is getting chopped up just being pulled through he stayed alive yeah a while and then the that old guy and then the, a while. the wife she grabs a knife and she's just screaming <laughs> no and michael's like Oh, I'm going to have some fun with you. He grabs the light bulb, smashes it, slowly <laughs> the, sticks it in her neck. Oh the wife God. had it just as bad. That was bad. And then she, she has to pers- lay there, bleed yeah. out while her Ugh. husband... What was Michael doing? He was like... Watching this- her husband get pinned down with like no, seven I feel, I feel knives. Like, I feel like he was like, this knife's too small. Stick in his back. Yeah. This knife's too small. <laughs> Stick in his back. And she's just Dude, slowly I- dying as... It was, it was bad. Um, he did yeah. not have to do that. Was super extra. That was dirty. I, I was. I thought it was funny. I low key thought it was funny. But I kind of liked it. how it displayed his. He's still a six year old in his mind, really. Like yeah. he's just playful, kind of. And then this part was kind of weird. I did not expect that one inmate from the first movie, the one with the umbrella, to he, come back. Like he, he actually was in the same actor. Their car outside the yeah. bar where Tommy is. So that kind of brings the nurse and the doctor character with the the original crew Dude, for the movie. That I, I I don't know how many people miss that. I don't know if Saka, did you catch? I don't know if you caught it because you just started watching them. But when she got in the car and it was fogged up, I immediately mm-hmm. felt dread. I was and like, it was it was uh, framed up just like Michael was yes. in the original. So I'm like, okay. you know what we're talking about. Ooh, Annie's, Annie's kill Annie's kill it, when she's about to get in the car to go to her boyfriend Paul's house oh yeah yeah and she yeah, gets yeah, chokes, yeah, 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 and yeah, she yeah, was yeah, like yeah. she puts her hand up to the mirror or the window and she like wipes it off that was definitely mm-hmm. a callback to that but when it was fogged up I was like no but if it was Michael in there I would have been like how's Michael just showing up here oh yeah he would have teleported that that they, they, they yeah. drove to Lori's house yeah exactly that been whack so yeah, that, no, was, that was cool and, that it was that other guy and it sets up I like a... I like <clears throat> how tough Tommy uh oh, did, yeah, you, did you hear that when Tommy was rolling out with the bat someone in the background was like F him up Tommy <laughs> like <"Huffing laughs> him up. he's like got the bat he's like I know who I dude, am I dude I love how Tommy just... is just ready from the get go oh dude like, he just hears yeah, Michael. that if you had yeah, a night got... like that with Michael Myers and you know he's still alive and he's at large, dude, you're like, let's do this. And I just yeah, love dude. Anthony Fuck, Michael he's, Hall, dude. He's, he's the, the MVP. Like he, he's the MVP. He just found man. out. He just found out that Michael escapes like 60 seconds prior. And then that girl's like, yo, he's in my car. <laughs> like he found out like one minute ago that Michael escaped the, the bus crash. And I, which is another, another little thing I picked up on. Is when it was showing it on the TV, and it showed the other inmate, and then it blurred the TV yeah, and focused on focus, Anthony. Yeah. I uh, like how they never show Michael's face; like it's always from mm, the side or in shadow. Even though at the end of the movie he's clear as day, doesn't have his mask on, but it's still, mm-hmm. still hidden like that. I thought that was amazing. I feel, I feel like that would just take away the, the sort of power that just his mask has alone. Yeah. 
like if Definitely. we like i mean the thing with like jason is he's the really disfigured so that's still scary uh, yeah it's still scary the thing with michael is it'd just be like an, just a guy but in this movie i'm just like an older dude that's what's so scary about michael is he's just just the ordinariness of him and just it's so simple he's dude. just the shape and then what do you guys think of little john and big john <laughs> Dude, dude, it, 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 it was. Fuck I yes for those two characters. Dude, they it's were a hilarious. It's a yes for me. Go, 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 go. <laughs> initially, on. initially they were like really, really funny, but then when the auditor people in the auditorium laughed every time he said, "Big John, Little it, John," it, it was funny. It, it was laughed funny. every single time. Yeah. It kind of like took that away, but like it, they were really funny. Yeah, but definitely. this scene kind of reminded me of Trick or Treat a little bit, the movie Trick or Treat. Because the kids, the kids, the kids, yeah, they kind of prank him, and then he, yeah, oh the, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay. I don't know, just the vibes. Oh, it was like the perfect Halloween type. I don't know. It just got oh the yeah. Feeling when of they started, Halloween. when they started talking to him about you know, like, his house is. Yeah, <laughs> that I love cool. that they know that they're in the Michael Myers house. Like they, own, they're like, they're just a hundred percent. I mean. Dude, I like they added that because, like, I mean, in all the other movies, it's like, uh, no one will buy this house. It's it's Bro, haunted they, and creepy. There are people in real life that do not give a sh- There's people that, like, would no, buy the Amity house. They gladly live in, in those yeah. types of houses. Just there are, for people the do there's live too many people. There. Yeah. People yeah. do live there. And uh, the, the people, they, like, constantly move out. <laughs> Yeah. People move in, people move out constantly. Of these, like even like the real Conjuring house and everything, <laughs> yeah. like all Conjuring two houses, everything. They all people actually still reside in them. Yeah, that's immediately where my mind went. It was they're just yeah. they're just into horror stuff and they they just love the history of it. Not and... even some people just don't care and believe they don't. They're, they're like skeptics. They don't believe in it. Yeah, and they and, they go and, and it's and a nice experience. house too. I mean, oh, oh yeah, they nice really house. they really pimped it out. I yeah. I appreciate I appreciated a lot that they had. They had gay characters in a horror movie and they did not act stereotypically gay uh-huh. and they never and they never talked about that they were gay. They yeah. just were two funny dudes that lived in like it in didn't like go out of its way to like to make like, yeah. sure you knew to like look, we're include it didn't yeah, it didn't beat you over the head with what they were doing. It was Wait. just it was just normal. Big John was the younger one, right? Big, I, yeah, big, was the one big John hair, was though. the cool one with with the robe on. Big John was the, the shorter hair, yeah. one. I think it was he, supposed to be ironic. Little he John was he, the pirate, the one dressed up yeah, like a yeah. pirate. Big yeah. John reminded me a lot of you e- and Birds of Prey. <laughs> just stop. I'm going to stop. <laughs> no, 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 we already passed what? the scenes with them getting interviewed about the night. Uh, Yeah, that already happened. Okay. Because so. that was, I just wanted to, I just wanted to shout that scene out with the editing whenever she has how no one cut, told you cut between and it. then it cuts to allison reacting very very nice very nice I, editing. that that editing with them both talking about the night and then react that was super good and i think that's when cameron came in oh, dude i was i was getting teared up with how like communal uh the the movie was feeling obviously up until it went over the top uh with the mob mm-hmm. and stuff but like everyone was like he's like Tommy's organizing us. And my dad, Lonnie, we're going to get him. And- but now we got we got Tommy outside the hospital with Lonnie and Cameron, and they're looking in the back of their trunk with all the weapons they have. Then the nurse and the doctor pull up. We're getting the whole team together, baby. We're like, okay, let's go. Then Allison walks up. She's like, we're going to hunt him down. I'm like, oh. So you're getting hyped. They're, so- they spread out. They spread out across Haddonfield. They're searching for this guy. And then we got, we got a pretty. I don't know why oh. they sent these out, these people out together. What? We got the nurse, the other mm-hmm. nurse, and the doctor. The, we got the couple, Marion and Lindsay. Yep, Lindsay's in there. And then that's the, not a that's not a squad, dude. That's Come such on. an incompetent <laughs> squad. <laughs> uh, they're just they're cannon fodder at this. No, point. Yeah, no, Tommy's is like so op, and then there's like. There's bro, it's you like can have Tommy alone go out. And he, uh, Tommy was by himself. Tank. Tommy's Tommy was going around gi- giving those like pep talks. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's getting people riled up. He's like, Evil dies tonight. Oh, wait. I yeah. think that was later, but like he was like, I need ready. good. He said, I need, he's like, I need good people. Uh, anyone else go home? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. He's like, I need people who can get the who want the who, who are finding their, their hands dirty. Yeah. Anyone else go home? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. dude. He anytime Anthony Michael just started talking in this movie, I was pumped. 
Dude, mm-hmm. he brought so much energy to this movie. Like he was, and the... I hadn't seen him act in a while, so I was cur- I was cur- You know, most of the time you see him, Weird Science, Breakfast Club, yep. Sixteen Candles. He's yep. like, that's like 30, 40 years. Ago. Well, it's the eighties, so it's like thirty years ago. And Dark Knight. I didn't... Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, he was in Dark Knight for a second. Um, uh, but I didn't. I didn't know. Okay, calm but, down. But... I didn't know how he was gonna be, but he it exceeded my expectations for him. Yeah, he was awesome. We'll get we'll get more to Tommy later because he his okay. time to shine hasn't even come yet, but um, Lindsay sees these kids on like a swing or something, and she's like, "Okay, I got I gotta help these kids out." Oh my god, this was just a recipe I- for disaster. This scene was awesome because Michael Myers is awesome, but um, he has a gun. He's like, "I don't know how to use this thing. I never shot this thing." She's like, "Man, I've done some target practice. Give me that gun." <laughs> I was like, that was a bad, that was a bad choice. That was a bad, yeah. Nah. But yeah, uh, Lindsay's telling the kids, go home, get inside, it's not safe. Looks back. Oh, wait, the kids are like, yeah, there's this guy playing hide and seek with us. He keeps popping out. And oh, he's right there. To him, yeah. I don't like just... talking, I don't like talking down on kid actors, but. They were they funny. Were, they were, they were, t- they were funny and they were, they were acting you like I've seen kids to act, but they were like. They weren't matching the scene or they weren't matching Bro, any like, of the adult share. adult actors. They were not matching Lindsay at all. She was like, what are you guys doing there? Where's your parents? And she was like, she was playing the scene. I don't know. I, I don't like, but they Luckily, were they're not, the scene too. they're not in but it. For they were long. gone. They were not in it for long. Yeah. They run away and scream. Lindsay looks <laughs> back. She starts run. Oh no, wait, she grabs a, a, like, she fills the bag, bag of candies with those bricks. I'm yeah. Like, okay. She, this girl Let's knows go. what she's doing. Let's this girl go. knows what mm-hmm. she's doing. But meanwhile, Michael jumps up top of the hood of the car, just like in the Call 78 back. film. Hand yeah. comes down, just like in that. Call back. It's crazy what happened to the same person, too. Yeah. That, <laughs> I'm like, does Michael know these things, or is this yeah. just the director? Like, I'm going to do the exact same maneuver I did the first time. He remembers. But he's, he's playing with him. He's tapping on the hood. She's shooting through the roof shooting i don't then, think she i don't think she ever shot through the roof i think she only shot through the windows she's just like ah, just shooting randomly bro i don't get uh, this, their bullets. it's one of those things it's one of those things where like roll out of the car yeah. and shoot him from the ground it just there was there was the movie was too good for me to get upset with the character decisions yeah. but there was a lot of times i was like hey maybe when the nurse character jumps out of the car I don't know. Maybe you did. She did run away. Yeah, that was smart Turn to go back and get some and distance. Shoot him! Like she ran like fifty yards away, and then after her freaking boyfriend, husband, and Marion is dead, then yeah, she pulls back. Bro, up. Michael comes in, just uh, well, she, he ripped her hair. Comes down. Oh, it was so gross. Bro, blood came off. Yeah. It was like is she like skin. She oh, got oh, a bad that was gross. Death. Yeah, hasn't she died in like two other movies? She's died in. She's died in all three timelines. <laughs> Wait, did she die? Did she die in? Did she die in Halloween too? She died in. Spoiler alert: H the opening of H two O. I don't remember if I just watched Halloween two. Did she? It's fine. She, so she, her destiny is to die. That, that's all that matters. <laughs> but Michael comes in, just starts, just a classic kill, just starts stabbing her. Yeah. Then the guy had a smart idea to put the te- stethoscope yeah. around his neck. I'm like, but bro, you just brought him. Way closer to you, dude. There he goes. He was through like, the eye, through he the eye. He's getting choked and just turns and looks at him while getting choked. Michael's He's like, Daddy like Harder. I cannot <laughs> fathom how Harder. dumb these people are. <laughs> you know, he's not thinking that, but it's kind of what came across. It's dude, tough they when a six-year-old in an adult's body is outdoing everyone. But then Michael hears gunshots. He's like, just he kind of does this. He's like, just slowly turns around. <laughs> She's missing every shot. Michael simply dude, Michael's plot armor is just like doof, doof. like yeah. dude oh my god they matrix is the matrix <laughs> but Michael simply kicks the door and she shoots that herself awesome I, yeah. I count that as a his kill I count that as his kill oh it definitely it. it's yeah. his it I is. was sitting there I was sitting there and I was like I'll give that to you dude yeah my whole theater clapped how funny that was everyone was yeah. laughing yeah but then Lindsay comes up Starts smacking him with the bricks, dude. He ate those hits. He's like, mm-hmm. he's like, what was that? I love when Slams characters her against the car bro. get hits on Michael. It's like he got hit first, but Literally he doesn't. Got hit he, by doesn't t- he doesn't even know what it. He's like, what was that? 
bricks. Okay. Yeah, Slams there. her against the car. And then she uh, she gets away, runs to a river. That, was that a scene cool was vibe-y, really intense. Vibey mm-hmm. type. Yeah, the, it had like nice fog. It reminded me of uh, the scene from Fellowship of the Rings a bit. Yeah. You know? Where the, blah, 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 the uh, Nazgul were peeking. Oh, over. yeah. Yeah. I know. I, I I see, now blah, I, I blah, can blah, understand blah, blah, blah. what reference you made. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, second watch Son of the Rings for the first time like two months ago. <laughs> He's behind, but. It took um, me a second. It's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I understand I that reference. Yeah, he's like Captain America. I understand <laughs> that reference. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> is... it's crazy this entire movie set at nighttime. Isn't that kind of weird to think about? The whole movie. All yeah. night. Okay, Just then then Lori wakes up. Finally. Wow. We've been talking for a while. She just <laughs> mm-hmm. woke up. <laughs> I totally forgot. Wow, they really incapacitated her for and a while. And Hawkins is in the same room as her. That was cool. And it I was think adorable. It when was. she started talking, when she started she yeah. started talking to him and she's like, uh kind of likes you or whatever. And then he was just like, You're always fucking crazy or something like that. And she's like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That I was like, so cute. I like their relationship. I feel like he was her first marriage. Don't you feel like No 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 no. They they made it clear that they just um, kissed that one. They night. They kissed and they held hands and he's like, but you always had a thing for Ben Tramer. He said something like he said, like it wish it would have happened, which is why in ends they're either if she if both of them live, they're getting to I think they're going to get together and one of them's going to die. Yeah, it's going to be really sad. They set set that up. Both of them are going to die. But yeah, that Lori's probably going to see Hawkins die and it's going to be sad. When they met in 2018, they immediately had chemistry like they had pastry. Pastry. There's something going on oh, here. I just combined <laughs> words. But yeah, oh, that was... <laughs> I can't wait for ends. They got such. I a love good, how you... They got such a good squad going into ends. I'm so hyped. Jacob, I love how you said that twice and you just stopped. <laughs> I just combined words, dude. I can't. And but, you didn't say it once. You said it twice. But uh, Allison pulls up with Lonnie and Cameron, and Tommy's already there, and they find. Uh, the bodies of what just happened. <laughs> they grab Lindsay, bring her back to the hospital. Uh, she's all right. And then this is where Anthony Michael Hall just owns owns the hospital. He just yeah fires everyone up. Dude, the police are like, what do we even do? Like powerless. Dude, whenever whenever um freaking uh evil dies tonight. Whenever- Whenever, whenever bracket, <laughs> whenever bracket came up, and he was like, "She, he, she, he killed he's my like, daughter Come forty on. years ago." We got it. We got a system. He's here. like, he's like, yeah. He's like, I'm the law around here. It's like, it, dude. Uh, Anthony Michaels Hall is like, you failed us every time. He's just going off, dude. That. Oh my gosh, that's yeah. nice. dude. There's so many like powerful scenes that just like dude. there's like a f- invisible force field that's like hitting me. We're already yeah. over halfway through the movie. The but, extras in this movie were good. Like oh, they yeah. got some good extras. Definitely. They were yeah. getting... There is one extra that I want to point out later, but we'll get to her. Wait, <laughs> you notice one? I didn't notice any like. Yeah, it, it's funny. It's funny. Yeah, I, I didn't notice any like Sam Raimi extras. You know. Well, I'll just I'll just say it now so I don't forget. But later, <laughs> when the mob surrounding Michael, there's just this one old lady. She has a a iron. To iron clothes, she's just holding it with the cord. She's like, but it's not on. <laughs> it's she had it the cord go into her pocket, like she had like she had, a charger. She brought like a she brought like yeah she's she like a freaking uh, a portable a portable battery. And she's if you like, see if you see when uh uh the sheriff is pointing the gun, she's right behind him. So look out for that. What next time you watch it? But, I love to see I, that a guy who literally survived a burning building, <laughs> but he couldn't survive an iron. <laughs> I didn't notice that. It's funny. But Tommy busts in. He tells Lori he's still alive. Oh my god, that scene is How so good. How good was the acting in this scene? Yeah. He's like, you protected Dude. me 40 years ago, and now I'm going to protect you. I was like, let's go, Tommy. That's another time. I, Dude, I was constantly, like, my, like the tears in, the tears <laughs> in my eyes were literally... Like the like I don't know if anyone else got teared up a lot, but I was like the way was... she the way Jamie Lee Curse reacted, she's like, Karen! And then she's like, Nurse, uh, thank you for everything you're doing, but can you please get out? Get out now! <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. Dude, oh my gosh, I can't there was Oh, the script was so 
the script and making us believe that everyone has lived in this town their whole lives and they all you know each other so well. You feel their pain. You feel their their anger for Michael. And right there, Lori's just like, go time. It's go time. I don't care that I have a couple uh, a freaking slashed on my entire belly. She gets up. She's like, Tommy, go get Michael. We're going to freaking get this guy tonight. He's like, dude, I love how he reacted to He's her. He's like, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He just runs He out. reacted in a similar way to whenever she was like, whenever she yelled at him to go to his room after she stabbed him in the neck yeah. uh, in the original. She's like, go to your room. Go to your room. Do as I like, say. Like he ran off. Yeah. He, ran, she, he ran off like a similar way. Like, like she's one. still the babysitter. She's yeah. Yeah, the that's, yeah. That's what I was about to say. But uh, she grabs like, I don't know what it was, pain pain relief or pain Dude, no, no. She didn't know what it was. She's, she's like, I don't know, know what, what this is. is. It makes Stab. the pain go away. She did not have to stab herself that hard, dude. She just stuck it around. Like, oh. And Hawkins is just like sitting there. He's like, that's my girl. No, no, I think she saw, no, no. I think she saw Hawkins get that same injection before. Yeah. And then she was like double the dosage or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And then I think she put it on, put it, she, she tried it herself. <laughs> I think it was obviously like painkiller or whatever. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. It's, it's, she. I think so she at, knew what it was. So at this point, you're like, okay, Lori, Lori's gonna gonna frick Michael up if she gets out of this hospital. But you're Karen, frick him up. Karen, dude. Karen being Karen won't let her out. But then we cut back. <laughs> Love to, Judy Greer. Then we cut back Love to Judy Big Greer. John and Little John, and the door opens because someone was knocking on the door. They both. Big John picks up a little knife. And little John picks up a big. <laughs> I just he's love like no that he's like contrast. I I love how they talk. He's like didn't he I like got this undress knife. or something? He like yeah, yeah took he off. took off his rings. He took off his rings and he just goes, I got this knife. He goes, I got this knife. He's <laughs> so like okay. so, it's such a quirky little thing where they like say the same thing to each other. Yeah, like every every character in this just has such a great introduction that makes you sympathize with them. That's what I love. But then we cut back to the hospital and we see in the reflection that same inmate that escaped earlier as like a cut on his head. Yeah. And he's at the Which hospital. Which is from the rack, yeah. He's at it's the hospital. The and what happens? Uh, Bro, everyone, no, that's when everyone thinks him. that he's Michael. Dude, and yeah. he... This was intense. It was scary, bro. Because one, one word of mouth. Scene. One word of mouth. Yeah. That's Michael. Whole mob just starts. And Lori and yeah, Karen, Lori and Karen right are yelling there. that no, it's not. Yeah, and the Dude. and the guy was trying to run, and Lori freaking like decked him. Did you see that part? When that doctor? I thought I that that doctor decked. Yeah, that doctor decked her. her yeah. While she, yeah, she fell over, her. and then and then she just knocked a guy over, which really hurt her. So they had to put her back in the bed. So you're like, okay, yeah, that was is, gross. I felt that punch to her. This is a serious <laughs> injury. Yeah, I felt that. That was gross. Bra rip. Was she? Was she? Uh, survived this scene. But this is intercutting with Big John and Little John's death. So Big John, they're they're going through the house. <laughs> they're oh like, yeah, they're making it explicit that Michael is not even near the hospital, but everyone's yeah, freaking out. That's, I guess. that was a smart way to do it because I feel like audiences today would be so retarded. Like, oh, he can he can teleport. How's he doing this? Like. No, but okay. if yeah, if we didn't show Michael being yeah. somewhere at the same you time, they could be like, like, "Oh, what mm -hmm. if he's gonna pop out still? What if he's still like, he's not there, bro." He's so not him. the whole hospital's chasing this scared little mentally ill guy around, and then Big John, Little John are Freaking securing right, the dude. house, each room, and then Big John or Little John gets killed, and then Little John runs up, and it just pans away as little dude. Big John's death. Um, super Slap. gross. His his eyeballs Slap. literally went. Yep. Yeah. His little, his little that was pro <laughs> prosthetic makeup too. <laughs> gross, dude. Yeah, yeah, that was super. That was super gross. And he stabbed he got, him like through in the, the armpit. armpit. It was coming at his shoulder, dude. Uh, even though Michael, I will say he killed most of his kills were with knives in this. Um, and I love they that were the, some of the best knife kills yes. from Michael. Yes, Michael had the say. best kills in this movie, but Little John. Knew it was Michael Myers immediately, and he said, "Michael." He said, and "Yeah." He turns around. I feel like Michael kind <laughs> of wanted. He set them up together, like after they died. 
I feel like he respected them that they took care of his house a little bit. I don't know. Oh, definitely, definitely. They like he they put like, on their upgrade. music because they put on their yeah, put on their music, dude. I I kind of like Michael for that. Nicer, you, the nicer corpse decoration he's ever done, <laughs> dude. Imagine, imagine if like they had like the Busta Rhymes, Michael oh, Myers in the on. hospital, <laughs> and then Michael Myers at their house. Trick or treat, mother <laughs> motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> um, I can't believe that Busta but, Rhymes killed Michael Myers in a timeline. That's Ray, the thing that happened. Yeah. Let's just forget that happened and talk about he, a good movie. No, no not Laurie Strode. Nope. Busta Rhymes. Fun Who's fact. Busta. I don't know. Fun fact. His scenes were the only Halloween scenes I had seen before watching the movie. So you just had a bad taste going. <laughs> no, it was, it was funny. It was amazing. <laughs> it, when he starts like the Kung Fu. Dude. Fuck. But when, uh, when, uh, Big John got oh, killed. He does the noises. When Big John All got right, go killed. Go when Big John got killed, I heard someone next to me go, Michael Myers is homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that cracked Dude, me. Dude, I guess he's I guess by that logic, he's also racist. He's just an all around bad good, bad dude. Michael Michael just a doesn't care. He doesn't see color. He doesn't He's see an gender. equal opportunity mass murderer. He's like, I'm gonna I I'm He doesn't gonna discriminate. Kill you no He'll murder what. you yep. no matter what you do. I mean he le- he lets that baby go in seventy eight. Oh no, no, it's twenty. Well, he doesn't no. kill babies. Oh, There's no yeah. fun there. Okay. And then I love how he just looks down at it and walks away. So Karen Karen is uh helping this guy. This scene was really, really beautifully Heart, well done with the mob and putting it put it because I like But I'm seeing here uh it's intercutting with Hawkins. Oh, this was heartbreaking too. So it's two really emotional scenes where Hawkins is like telling like this is all my fault. Like he's not coming mm, for you. This yeah. is my fault. <sighs> oh, I was crying so hard. I like how Lori <laughs> I at least how I noticed Lori like kind of took it as an insult that she spent her whole life. Yeah. Like I think she like had a little him. wake up call. She was like, No. Like us, it's me. Yeah, yeah. And us, us, the audience. Like it's Michael Myers and Jamie Lee Curtis. Like they're they're the two faces. But then you realize Michael doesn't even know who she is. He doesn't even care that. It's, yeah, in this timeline, it's not a no finishing grudge. the bloodline thing. Yep, that was really smart. He just wants to go home. But and he in 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 someone someone I think to- no 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 I don't think anyone told did someone tell Lori got him. Did anyone eventually tell her in the movie that um, Sartain was the one that took Michael no. there? He, because she glad. was like, he came to me. And, I feel like he and, said his doctors kind of set it up. I feel like he said yeah. that. So, but I'm glad yeah, they did. I'm glad they didn't touch on Sartain because he was the worst part of the last movie. I feel that was such a weird plot twist, but it was a necessary he died, one. But get, he had to oh. with the yeah. change of them not being siblings anymore he had to get to her yeah, somehow it had to yeah, happen no, that, that that part was the thing i hated the most about 2018 and when hawkins is alive in this one Dude. it's such a relief <laughs> i, I don't know what relief. jay i don't know what james a janice's reaction was to the trailer but he's gonna in his Halloween kills kill count he's gonna have to minus a kill off of his 2018 kill count oh he counted yeah, hawkins. yeah yep he counted Hawk- i we, mean can we get a halloween uh, recount <laughs> okay the entire thing over again but Karen helps this guy out. This dude, it's so sad because he's not a killer. He's just mentally ill. Like he just has problems. Yeah. I don't feel like he was a killer, was he? No. no. They so, ne- they never said anything and to this whole make mob us think that. is trying to fr- is m- trying to murder him. And they think it's Michael Myers. And it was so sad like seeing his reaction that he would rather die himself than let them kill him. Yeah, and he committed suicide. <sighs> it was such and a that, was really that shot of him like mm-hmm. smashed on the ground. I don't even know how was... he, how he felt like that. It was one of the most convincing um, uh, jump jump to j- oh, like yeah. jumping I suicides I've ever seen in a I f- movie. I felt like I was about to meet my end like, when that hit. Ew, that... like dude, no, the I don't know if it was. Yeah, I don't know how me. they did the stunt guy, but it, there was like definitely a practical person falling onto a crash mat. They probably had a, but like it was so high. It, yeah, like, yeah. I was. I want to see the BTS of that jump like so badly. 
Yeah, no, I saw that. I saw that, and I was like, "That has to be a real person. That looks way too real." Oh yeah, it was. It was really. Yeah, cool. that, yeah, that was a re- really emotional. <clears throat> and I just want to shout out John Carpenter, Cody Carpenter. The score in this scene and in this whole movie, <laughs> dude, that might be top <laughs> ten scores of all time, dude. Oh my gosh, dude! I was getting chills, goosebumps the whole movie. On his yeah, musical uh-huh. one, they kind of added like a, ch- a church organ type thing with like yeah. some like vocalization, oh. with some like vocalization. Nice. And yes. I thought that was so cool. Nice. <laughs> that was my impression. Of what, what it Dude, like. they should have got you on the track. They need to re-record. Oh. Oh. And then Hawkins tells Lori about the mystery that when you look out his sister's window, you kind of, I don't, I don't know what was going on with the window, but. You kind of see all of Haddonfield looking through. Well, something. he was. They were originally saying he's looking over Haddonfield because that's what someone said to him in the flat in the flashback at the beginning of the movie. They're like he was looking over. Oh, his partner said that to him. It was like the but legend of he, Michael. He realizes that he was looking at himself. himself. Like they're not looking what's beyond. They're looking yeah inward. I yeah. don't know. Just something about that was just so creepy and mm-hmm. so well done. <coughs> I loved it. And I actually really like Judy Greer in this movie. Like, she was annoying like at her. first, but once she helped out that guy, the first one. she was she was awesome in this movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, I like her better than, than in the first one. Okay, first and one. then we cut... This was kind of stupid. When Lonnie is like, I'm gonna... They pull up to the Myers house. They figured that it was a straight line. All of his killings were leading to the Myers house. Okay. Yeah. Lonnie's like, stay in the car. I don't want to lose lose my son tonight. I'm like, okay, this this they're all gonna end up in the house eventually. So why are we even? <laughs> Lonnie should have Lonnie gotten was a better dad. Lonnie was awesome though. He I wish. I wish it was all screen. Like I, like I said, I dude, that might that might get the dull machete yeah, from James because that's definitely. such a big character that, and he's honestly he's like. He was squished up there really gross, but like you didn't see it that much. And um, but whenever he was walking up to the thing, I in my seat, I, I, I was like, get your ass away from there, Lonnie. But I, I wish, wish. I don't know how. That. I wish. How would that even happen? I wish there was a close up like when he's about to go in the door and he's just he said like he said it to himself. I wish he said it to himself. I wish he was like, get your ass away from here, Lonnie, or something. I don't know. I wish there was like a he back just to that line. stopped and closed his eyes yeah. and heard Loomis or something. The, uh, dude, just <laughs> dude. I oh, that'd be so cool. That's just, so I, clever. I don't, I don't know why they didn't do that. Yeah. But just, yeah, he goes in, shuts the door. You're like waiting for something. Gunshots go off. Cameron, one, no, no. Allison, one, me. One gunshot. One gunshot. That's it was how only long one. It, that's how long it took for Michael. It was to like end it was like 15 him. seconds. One gunshot <laughs> goes off, and he's like, and they immediately get up and go in the house. I'm like, yeah, that was a waste of. But they should have all up, three went in there. They, that was that was the only like, con- like contrived death that I think because it was obviously just supposed to complement Cameron's discovery and then yeah. death. And it was good build up. Them. It was good build up when he was approaching the closet. <laughs> His acting was so good, and then you see the blood drip. Oh, he he went he went he, he was dude he was sitting right here and he said, looks up. I'm like, how is Lonnie on the ceiling? And then he was in the attic. I was like, okay, that was cool. <laughs> I love I'll, how Michael bro. waits for him to look up. Yeah, Michael Michael really <laughs> had sadistic. fun. Really, Michael Fuck really man. had fun with his kills in this. I feel like. Where did wait? Where did he come from after he the uh, closet. after he looked up his head? the closet? Straight ahead. He okay, no, yes, that's closet. what. It, you know what I would have done. I myself, I was thinking this. I was like, <clears throat> "There's Michael Myers. He's a fucking apex predator. He knows where you are at all fucking times, no matter yep. what you do." Yeah, we, we all know this. Yeah, I would have lit up that closet with bullets and then <laughs> opened it up. I'm yeah. not even joking. I was like, I would have called out for my dad if he was in the closet. No, I would have gave him two tries. After that, I'm lighting the closet doors open. I'm I, like, Dad, I'm- if you're in there. You better calm yeah. down now because I'm about to blast this. <laughs> Cause, Cause dude, none she of these... did it. But Lori, Lori did it in the in the last one with her own closets. She was planning to burn down her own house. Yeah. Why walk up to the closets and shoot them, bro? Poof, poof, shit. But dude, again, these people have like again, rapid fire guns. <laughs> even if these people could hit a target, he he eats bullets. 
It doesn't matter. For breakfast. He takes Without them. any milk. And so Michael pushes Cameron up against the wall. Does he? St- yeah, he stabs him. Freaking Allison comes like in twice. With, the, with the gun ready to shoot. And he just grabs it and throws it on the ground. Bruh. She didn't have to leave the door frame. That's... Bruh, she didn't... She, she literally waited till her barrel was right next to him. But and then yeah. he just turned and pushed it up. But even... She but. still came out with the one-two knife stab on Michael. She, she stabbed yeah. Michael. stabbing him a lot. I was like, okay, Allison, she's ready for this. That was also weird. When she heard Cameron screaming, she turned off the record player. I'm like, is that really Dude, necessary? she was taking too much time. She took to way too things. much time there, uh, dude. She didn't even need to walk up to the dead body. Bro, real, let's be honest here. Okay, they, gold, she knows they're golden dead, dead. chainsaw goes to Cameron slams his head through the railings he did so down, he went through so much down. dude i couldn't even like, imagine this suffering this <laughs> this poor kid and allison and him made up right like they were dude. they were ready to get well, back no. together See, one of my favorite things about about horror movies uh horrors and thrillers is that like there's always a no matter what uh like politician you believe in or what religion you believe in or whatever these people believe in they usually always come together for a common purpose in horror movies and cameron like cheated on her and she was upset about that but there's a bigger problem at hand and she just she pushed it out of the way it's not important there's a more important issue and that's why horror movies are so like communal and people just come together to defeat something to defeat that's a good that's a good point like they were gonna handle their relationship <laughs> problems later. Like it didn't matter. Yeah. Like evil needed to die tonight. But <laughs> my uh, Allison was she already fell down the stairs and broke her leg, so she's she's pretty much done. Dude, so she's just at oh the bottom. She just has to watch this massacre just happen. She's like, dude, with that callback shot to uh, the original. Yeah, that was with, cool. With him standing up there. Yep. And, and also comes- kind of to Rob Zombies because. Dude, was, Michael just scared the frick out of me again. I always forget he's right here, and I turn around. He's <laughs> but bro, um, did he just move? <laughs> Chase, watch out! <laughs> he just grabs this. Dude, imagine you were just like. <laughs> I just dude, start it, fighting him. Okay. Dude, it's crazy how these two were just at a party vibing out like a few hours before this, and they they were literally just chilling. And like, I feel like what you know, Allison like, has gone through is a billion times worse than anything <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis has ever gone through. Yeah, Lori, yeah. <laughs> Lori, Loki. She's experienced this trauma like magnified by like a million. Like, gosh. She had to watch her dad die, her boyfriend die. <laughs> her, gosh. And her, it's rough out. And her it's mom. Rough out. Dude. Her mom. It's so I can't wait to watch these two movies back to back. Oh, it's because be it's so it's both both Halloween the 1978 and Halloween the original Halloween two and these two. It's so like it it it. I get out of breath thinking about how much these people had to go through, bro. Michael did not go to sleep all the way from when they started letting the him out of the prison. Oh, whenever yeah. she had the revolver and she was drinking her little alcohol and like. It's been like such a long time. Like everyone's tired. Day. Everyone's been up all day. They she went to school earlier. Uh, they went to it. Like, dude, ever it's, it's it, it makes is, me it makes me tired thinking about it's it. It's a workaholic. Like, think about like the longest you've ever been up. Like, just magnified. Oh my gosh, I can't even. Comprehend. Michael doesn't. Michael does not sleep. Well, what, whoever ever whoever sleep? gets to sleep like, after whoever gets to sleep like after you know the survivors of. That's Kills. gonna be the most busting That's gonna hit. sleep. <laughs> this shit going to be busting, but they're probably gonna like nightmares. And yeah, stuff, yeah, so yeah. It's not fun. worth it. They're gonna oh, wake up in chills. They're just gonna hit like here. One, two, Freddy's coming. For Leads me. into the nightmare sequel. Let's go. I'm just kidding. But out, okay, so Michael stops slamming Cameron up and down. Turns up, starts walking down the, starts walking down the stairs. And she's like, come on, come on, you're right there. And he looks at Cameron. He's like, mm, I don't think so. Twists his head. I swear that's he turned so it full 180. No, no, I think, I think he turned it and then it fell back. 
Oh, um, it's, yeah, it, it wasn't looked blood like it coming out. It was like just fully. drool. He just had drool coming out. Dude, that, and that cool. solidified the kill as as Golden Chainsaw oh. for me. Like, that was cherry on top. And then cherry Allison sta- tries to stab Michael, and you're like, okay, Allison's dead. Judy Greer Karen stabs him with that pitchfork that was set up earlier. I was like, <laughs> so like, so like you said her full name was Judy Greer Karen. <laughs> I, I, I was just... But yeah. yes, that was a good that was a good Chekhov's gun. Uh, uh, next time, Big John That's said, it. "Next next time I see you, I'm gonna use the pitchfork." Yeah, and she yeah. It was good. It was his spirit that just inhabited her. <laughs> so that, John that possessed Karen. <laughs> Something happened off screen. Is Karen got with Tommy, and they set up the this whole trap that they were gonna take off the mask and bring him. I'm not gonna. Lie. I thought that there was gonna be a trap because she was like I'm at, like acting a little bit too different I'm like, like where, running away Tommy? from him was a little bit too difficult I know, for her she was like, in that bit she was like oh there's a, there's a car behind me uh. yeah i was like calm, calm down calm down Dude, everything... but you knew in the scene earlier you knew she went with tommy so i'm like where's tommy bro is he gonna show i'm like what's gonna happen but yeah she she takes out the pitchfork and kicks him in the head i'm like Okay, you should just keep stabbing. Maybe, him. maybe do that thing he did to Sartain in the last movie, and <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't have the strength for that. But she takes off his mask in the head, and she backs out of the hallway. Michael stands Jeff. up, dude. I that, swear, this he, is the part. He was so much creepier without his mask on. Just oh yeah, he dude. was just like. But yeah, she's like, "You want your mask? Come and get it." She starts running away. Halloween theme starts playing. This is the part where the killer and a- comes back for one last scare. Yeah, Allison starts screaming, "Mom!" and just her echoes as the Halloween theme played. Dude, I was like, "Okay, this movie." I thought it was gonna end there. Dude, I thought this it was already end the right best. there with Dude. her running away. I thought that's where it was gonna end. Honestly, I can't be the only one who thought he walked a lot more robotic when he was without Dude, the mask. He His so arms still. are like straight down, and he's like, "Is like that was honestly was literally still." That was, was honestly so the scariest part of the movie was him in the shadows, just his silhouette. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting chills thinking yeah, about it. Ah, oh, dude, I don't know. Him without the mask is kind of more unnerving. But Michael comes in on the street and sees the mask in the middle. I'm like, okay. Goes to to the mask. All the lights turn on. The Halloween theme's just blasting. Tommy's get there. This bus comes out. All these people surround Michael. I'm like, bus. Oh my god. How's he gonna get out of this? Is he gonna? Dude, die exactly. Here? How when they he... started, when they started beating him, and they got like four shots into his upper t- chest, I was like, "No, but but wait, but wait, make another movie. He's getting lit up." That's the that's the what I thought. Sheriff Hawkins is like, or Sheriff whatever his name is. No, no, b- uh, bracket, bracket said it's Halloween. He's like, everyone's entitled to one good scare. Everyone is F- surrounded yes. around Michael. Tommy's like getting his bat ready. I loved his movements. With uh, the bat. Yeah, and then Michael's just like, hmm. John John Carpenter. Da-na-na-na-na. When he he's just like, let's go. I am ready. I am Michael Myers. I don't care how many of you are. I am putting this mask on. And just the visuals of like his scar being covered by like the mask. Like he's 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 invincible. Like this is. It's one of my Myers. favorite. It's one of my favorite of those like. Personally, one, one iconic character gets surrounded by tons of nameless yep. character scene. But personally, for me, this was by far my favorite scene in any Halloween movie. Maybe even any horror movie. Which, Just him surrounding and putting on the mask like F oh, you, yeah. like I'm Michael Myers. Dude, yeah. the the lack of concern. I was screaming in, him in the theater. Crazy. I'm like, let's go. It's like he's Dude, I just can't get over that scene. I've watched it a billion times on my phone yeah oh, and he's just like but then um they all start beating the crap out of him i'm like it was fun while it lasted but he just gets the crap beat out of him by tommy doyle tommy's like i was like knock i was like down. no way no way they're making a third one when they yeah. were beating him i'm like no how's he I'm surviving like, this? no what i what i ended up thinking was oh halloween ends is just a myth just to make people that, think yeah, he's not I gonna die too here. And oh I'm my like, god, I didn't oh, think about no that. Yo, like, what just if to throw people <laughs> off. Dude, what if they're like, yeah, we're not making a third. That is the trilogy. It's done. 
I was like, okay. Dude, that would make crazy. <laughs> I actually thought that. No, he's on the ground and he's barely moving. And especially when he's I like, think Tommy reached. kicks the knife away. Yeah. Or like no, he puts it under Karen. Or something. Karen takes oh, yeah, it yeah, out yeah, yeah. and stabs him in this like yeah. spinal cord, dude. Right in the yeah. neck, right here. Yeah, dude. I was like, I okay, was like, he's dead. I would have yeah. been fine. I'm not. I'm not even kidding. And the I would have movie... been fine if them if that that was the end of it and they didn't make ends. I'm not even joking. If they if she went back to the hospital and talked to Lori, I know we want Lori to kill her. Yeah. But that last scene was powerful. Kill him as shit. But so, the movie or, moves yeah. on after his after his supposed death. Like Allison and Karen reunite. I'm like, is the movie wrapping up right now? And then it cuts back to Sheriff Brackett coming in. He's like, I'm bragging, dude. He got thrown to the side. He was and like, Michael, Shh. Michael just goes, slices his throat. Yeah, he just the blood. The blood went on Tommy's face. Tommy's like blind because of the blood. Michael just kills everyone. Flashback. Dude, the way that entire sequence is shot is dude, so. Dude, cool. I feel like they shot at in this neighborhood at night, and then they went on like a sound stage with like a black background mm-hmm. and just had. They did no, no, it. no. They 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 released some of that that footage where they just literally had a black like velvet so tarp cool. in the back it was and they so just cool. had like blood hooked up to stunt performers and they would just have him swing and then they would just get a quick shot of it i was <laughs> a little entire was, sequence is slow motion yeah it was awesome but i was a little disappointed with tommy's death because we didn't 100 percent. no it. i was waiting to did get you feel to this like bro. That? they it, did not have to have i was i i hated I was that everything was drowned the bat. He used uh, the bat tommy's death him. And it, they didn't even show, give it, like, Sartain had that badass watermelon head squish. And Tommy Tommy got off screen, hit in the head with his bat, and the blood flew up into the camera, and it was like a transition or something. I if, like, I, oh. if I was David Gordon Green, I would have had the black, <laughs> the black, if I was him. <laughs> I would have had the, the stylistic black background of him killing everyone, and then... We cut back and it's just Tommy and Michael. I would have had a battle. Yes, and he's like all beat up, cut. Yes, and Michael Duel of the takes, fates. Yes, breaks his bat in half <laughs> and just shoves the remaining bat up his neck. That would have been no, nah, dude. Ten out of but, like. Infinity I would have had like a thirty second long back and forth between Tommy and Michael. Imagine like, just like sure. an epic score of like them. Like, dude, that whole thing. That whole thing was built up was was music i that the, honestly my only gripe with the movie is how quickly i think they wrapped that up at the very end it i was, was like they, and Tommy the music needed a 1v1 and karen music. needed a better death mm-hmm. yeah the music kind of overpowered it a little bit tommy's like, tommy's and karen's death should have been longer with audio and yeah. that's it that's and it was filmed movie. like all close up like ah! yeah dude it was it was like the classic where and the, michael's the just like it, this no but, but also, no yeah um, I love how one of the last few things Tommy sees is literally just Michael posing with his bat like that. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> it was like that shot. Like it was like I, I really did like to when Tommy and Michael came face to face, and there's no there's no eyes in Michael. It's just black. He's just yeah. like Karen thinks Michael's dead. She looks up into the Myers window, and there's a little Michael. He's up in the window. She's like, I gotta see what he sees. <laughs> she goes up into the room, looks out the door, and I think it was Lori gave the final monologue, right? She's like, "Yeah, next Hall- we might find him next Halloween, yeah, or maybe tomorrow." But dude, it, it's gonna, gonna be, be a one year time jump. It's gonna be a one year time like jump. It is. But Michael, <sighs> she walks up. It was so cool. There's nobody in the room. She walks up, and then Michael comes out of her like silhouettes yeah it was like he appeared it was so cool and the, i i just like he I was, was so, definitely in the house before her i was so confused by that whole thing because she she made it clear that the the street that michael's house is on is right here and Forward. she ran over to this she ran over to this street in the like the one street over she ran through one past one person's yeah, house and that's forward. where they did the ambush and, and so michael the police, went when the police are all around this place i'm like are there no police over by where Michael is being killed? Because did he like walk in like like this? Did he like sneak? Like, well, I feel the that... cops. The cops responded to Allison. They didn't know what was going on over there. That's so that, Michael. There, that's Michael probably there. went. And I feel like there's some movie time skipping here. Like that event yeah. probably happened like an hour ago. Michael had time to go around through the back door, come up into his room, and then Karen came in. 
I don't was know. It, I still feel like the cops would out like infiltrate it was. the house because like the bodies and stuff like that. But Michael just wants to be yeah. in that house. Yeah. So are they gonna like just quarantine the house off and just let him let be in it there? burn? <laughs> the movie's Dude, amazing. We, we don't look at human, that part. A enough. human zoo. We just let that part go. The movie's like I amazing. can't see. I can't see Michael leaving the house. So I don't know what's gonna happen in three. So I think Lori's but it was going cool to, to attack him. Yes, Lori will be the one that's like, okay, he's in this the house. instigator for sure. But it was cool that he was looking out the window and she was looking through her window in her hospital and they were kind of parallel. Yeah, you could kind of feel like they were looking at each other in a way. It, I just felt like she could like sense that a part of her has just died. And Michael's just like, come get me, mother. I think we made it through it. It four and a half oh, yeah. for all That's of crazy. us. We all we all get two thumbs up. Amazing um, movie. Cannot wait for ends. Mm-hmm. Absolutely uh, fantastic. David Gordon Green is he knows what he's thank doing. You, my I friend. have confidence. And James Jude Courtney, you are Michael Myers. You are the goat. Dude. Even without the mask, you are Michael Myers. Like you are Dude, the yeah. scariest Michael Myers. I know Tyler Maine is huge and intimidating, but you're just you're the shape. You are creepy. Mother freaker, I don't know, dude. It, it dude, will be I... crazy. Uh, next time we do this for ends, yeah, I will have the entire franchise under my belt. Yep, exactly. We... I'm watch. watching it again, um, probably tomorrow. Honestly, I don't have Peacock, so I'm gonna go run back to the IMAX. But yeah, it's you gotta go see it on the big screen with an audience. Mm-hmm. It's it's the best. It's the best. But anyway, all right, yeah. we get it. You want to plug up? anything before I end this? Sucker, sucker. You want to plug? Bro, he's... Oh, I just have a personal Instagram. That's this. Sakaran Sahota, S-U-K-H-K-A-R-A-N-S-A-H-O-T-A. Long ass name, but that's my Instagram right there. Jacob. Jacob is... Um, I'm Jacob on Earth on Instagram, Earth. Twitter, and Letterbox. Because if any, you know, if any aliens come to yes, this planet, Letterbox. I just... I go, want them to know where I'm from. Go follow our Letterbox. We will interact with you, and you can see all of our movie opinions and everything, so... You'll... You can uh, see yeah, our opinions I, on the Halloween movies. And, yeah, I'm re- I'm almost done with them right now. I'm like yeah. halfway through rewatching them to rank them on Letterboxd. I'm literally only rewatching them to rank them. Letterboxd Letterbox controls our lives now. So, But uh, yeah, guys, evil dies tonight. Die, mother freaker. Oh, shoot, he's getting mother back freaker. up. <laughs> but yeah, guys, thank you guys for watching. This is Batchack signing out. Peace. Make sure to look out for our Dune spoiler review. Oh, really? Oh, maybe. I'll do that. I don't know. (laughs) Okay.